Have you ever dreamed of going to Stanford University? Oh my god, that's amazing! As soon as you walk through the oval, you enter the main quad. And right behind me is the most iconic building at Stanford called the Memorial Church. Look at that! Walking along the quad, you might notice why are there numbers on the floor? 92, 93, 94, 95, all the way to the early 2000s, late 2000s. It's actually because each one of these, buried underneath, is a time capsule of the graduating class. So the one question I have is, when are they actually gonna dig it up? I wanna see what they're burying in there. So the quad is in the dead center of Stanford campus and all around me are classroom dorms so let's go this way and check out the engineering buildings this is the biggest major at stanford we've now arrived at the engineering center let me show you the nicest classroom on stanford campus as we enter the engineering building this is the NVIDIA Auditorium. It's kind of like a classroom, nice lecture hall. What is interesting here is, look at these 4K cameras right above. It's actually because Stanford records a lot of their classes. So you can go to Class X online and search for an archive of past Stanford lectures. The thing about Stanford is like, I've noticed that they care a lot about the engineering and the computer science faculties and uh, they put a lot of funding into this. As we were walking around outside, there's like so many research centers, it's insane. If we walk over here, I think the teacher actually left a note for us. Subscribe to Campus Crawl. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm do that right now. You should too, listen to the teachers. But this next place we're checking out is nothing like you've ever seen before, so let's go. Right behind me is the Hoover Tower the tallest building on Stanford campus because everything is like super flat here. But what do you students do when they're not studying in the summer? Let's go find out over there. Stanford has a really unique tradition. It's called fountain hopping. So during the summers when it's hot, people just jump from fountain to fountain as if it was a swimming pool. How cool is that? All right, we're gonna become a Stanford student. It's quite a hot day today, so I think this will be refreshing. Are you ready? It's gonna be cold. Oh, oh man, my pants got all wet. Oh, feels nice though. It's refreshing. All right, here we go again. Oh my God, this one's so much deeper than the other one. Oh my god. Did you guys all go in? Yeah. How many did you go to? Four. Four? Yeah. Nice. Can I join you guys? Yeah. Oh. Right, the Stanford campus. What was your first impression of it? It's huge. Like, you have to bike everywhere. Everyone has bikes. Student life, there isn't much to do around here. It's, yeah, like it's in the middle of nowhere. It's in the middle of nowhere, but if you go up, like 30 minutes, you have San Francisco, Oakland, the Bay Area. Do you think Stanford life is more focused on studying then? Oh, definitely, yeah. You'll see people like doing work everywhere you go, like even outside, which is nice. We have a lot of green areas. Pull out your laptop, do work. Nice. Right off the quad is the Green Library. This is the main library at Stanford University. Inside is beautiful, but in order to get in, you need to register for a guest pass. Inside, as you walk up the marble stairs, you'll see a display. It changes all the time, but right now, it is the Leonardo's Library. You can see all of Leonardo's drawings and his notebook. If you head to the right, it's West Stacks. This is seven floors of books. All the books you could ever imagine can be found here. The reading room is to the left. This is a nice show area with big ass bright windows and a nice chill and quiet spot to study. Uh, walking along the Stanford campus, it gives me that beachy feel. This legit looks like a beach resort, man. Look at these palm trees. And these buildings, they look like a hotel. But you know, like studying here probably doesn't feel like a beach resort because everyone's so focused 
on research or their academics. Sports is a big part of Stanford culture. As you can see behind me is a tennis match. Oh, I actually gotta show you the trophy room later because apparently they have the most trophies out of any university. But if we pan around, we can see that's the Cobbs track and field. And if we walk a little bit, Back there is the Stanford Stadium. It's actually where the big game is held, the annual big game between Stanford and UC Berkeley. The school gets together and cheers for the Stanford Cardinals. Go Cardinals! We're now entering the coolest place on Stanford campus. This is the home of champions. Behind me are all the trophies Stanford has won. Look at this, they have won trophies for swimming, basketball, football, tennis, every big sport is in this building. As we climb the steps, at the very top lays the championship cup for all sports in the D1 division. This means Stanford won the most championships in all universities across America in the year 2017 to 2018. This is a definition of glory. Go Cardinals! We're at the Stanford basketball courts. Let's make a deal. If I get this in one shot, you subscribe and turn on notifications. Oh. Woo! Hit that subscribe button! We're now inside the Memorial Church. It's quite impressive, I gotta say. Everything is so meticulously crafted, and the ceiling here is extremely high, making this church feel a lot bigger than it looks. So the artwork in here is actually made of tiny little tiles, so if you look very closely, you'll realize how much work went into making this place look as stunning as it is. Coming to this church, it immediately gave me a sense of ease and calmness. Maybe it's the lighting, maybe it's the fact that it's so quiet, or maybe it's the fact that the ceiling is so tall, it's like I'm going up to the sky. Absolutely stunning. Before you leave Stanford University, you definitely gotta check out the merch store. It's one of the biggest I've seen with a nice selection of hats and hoodies and t-shirts and everything you want. But the weirdest thing I found in there is definitely their mascot. It's a tree with eyes and mouth. Why Stanford? This thing is so creepy, it's probably gonna haunt me in my dreams. Well, if you enjoyed this episode of Stanford Campus Crawl, click right here to subscribe and click here to watch another video and click here to watch another video. My name is Hafu Go and I'll see you next time. Peace.